All right, welcome to CIS 4710. This is going to be the walkthrough for homework five. I'm doing it live in class today. All right, for everybody. So if you're not in class today, if you're on the online uh, section, you will uh, uh, see this. Well, you have seen this probably by now because it's up on the YouTube channel. All right, so this week we are going through a um, bash, uh, an automation exercise. So a lot of times, pen testers, offensive security professionals, they have a limited amount of time in their scope of work. And one way that they can um, leverage the amount of time that they have is by writing scripts, writing common scripts that they know they're going to use. One good example of this is using InMap and creating uh, InMap scripts this is just one simple example of what you can do uh, with writing a script. So I'm requiring you to write this homework script uh, in a couple of steps, but I'm giving you a little bit of leeway here, okay? Uh, if you just write the script and you do the in-map portion, that's fine, you get full points. But what I wanna try to challenge you to do is not just think about that, but think about if you were to share the script with a colleague, or if you were to if you were to um, uh, uh, share it with uh, uh, another student or coworker, something like that. It needs to be intuitive, all right. Just like all programming, you should have a really, really, really good documentation sense um, in your script. So what I've done is I have launched my Kali instance. I've also launched Metasploitable, which is gonna be my target. There we go, we see it's running. All right, so I'm going to log into my Kali box. There we go. All right. And I'm going to kind of go over how I did this script. All right. So what I have done in essence, uh, where is that? Is I have created a file called autoscan.sh. Okay. And if I go into autoscan.sh, it's in my desktop uh, folder. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up in Vim. If I spell Vim right. There we go. Okay, so this is the entire script. And it hits all the parameters that you need. Okay? So we start the script out with Vim bash. And then I'm going to just do a simple echo. Enter the subnet you want to scan. Okay? So if you took the in-map uh, portion of this and you put your subnet in there, that's fine. That will work for that subnet. But what happens when you move to a different subnet? Well, you got to go back in your script. and react. What's the point? What's the point? Okay, you want to automate this as much as you can. So what I'm doing next is I am creating a variable called subnet with the read command in bash. Okay. Then I am going to just echo back to the user, hey, the subnet you entered was, and I'm repeating what they, they, they entered. Thank you. It's always good for good customer service. All right. Your scan is now processing. And then I initialize the in-map scan. Here I'm using the port parameter because I asked you in the homework, Scan all live IPs for the following ports, 80, 443, 445, yada, 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 okay? So with the dash P parameter, I can list out the ports that I want to, to scan. So 21 through 23, 80, 139, 40, 443, 445, 3389. I'm calling the variable subnet from the user input. And last but not least, I am going to fork the output to a 
text file called scanResults.txt. Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I exit out of the program. Uh, eight lines of code, and you know half of them are just for uh, user interaction with the echo command. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to ask the class that, that's in front of me now. How many of you have something similar to this? How many of you think that you were like way off from what you were doing? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Well, that's why we do these. All right. So let me go ahead and exit out of this, and I'll show you how it looks like when it runs. Bring a terminal, a clean terminal back up. Get this a little bit bigger so everybody can see it. There we go. All right. Um, oh, one last thing you have to do. All right. When you create the file, you create it read write only. You've got to shimod it to where it's executable. So. I basically did the command chmod, sorry, sudo chmod seven 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 auto Put in the root password, which we did in the homework four. Oh, sorry, my password. <laughs> There you go. Put in your password and that'll change it. You can check that with the ls-l command. And you can see it's read, write, execute across the board. All right? 777 like opens it up to everybody. All right. Now I'm just going to run that command. I still have to know what the um, IP of Metasploitable is. So I could run a quick little in-map scan on the subnet. My subnet, of course, is one nine two one six eight twenty three. Now I'm one thirty two. All right. So find your subnet. All right. So. Um, I can now run the uh, the auto scan. So dot slash. Sorry. Pseudo dot slash. I need to run it with root permissions. And the subnet you want to scan, that's the 192.168.23.0 slash 24. Now processing, and you'll notice up in the uh, upper left-hand corner, the scan results, text files created. You'll notice that it says, hey, the scan was processing. If you don't include that exit in your script, this is going to hang there. It's going to wait and wait and wait and wait and wait until you hit Control-C. All right, interrupt the program. Once it is done running the in-map command and it writes the file, it then goes to the next line and exit it exits out of the script. All right. So make sure that you're doing you're doing that part as well. That's one thing I am looking for. All right. And then all you have to do, clean that up. There's my results. Okay. I can go back in and just uh, them autoscan.sh. And I can just grab that all as one big screenshot, because looky there. Uh, 23.1 is not really much. 23.2. 23.129, that's metasploitable. How do I know it's metasploitable? See there. Uh, those MAC addresses, VMware, and I know all these ports are open on metasploitable. All right, so find the metasploitable one and, and do it. But it looks at all those ports that I requested in the in-map command. If I were to change the ports in the in-map command, 
and of course would change the output. All right, so this is not really a very, very hard homework assignment. Um, it gives you some experience or some uh, practice with scripting, which is highly sought after, highly sought after in, in industry. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bow out of the uh, video right now. And uh, this is the screenshot that I'm looking for. Okay, so thank you, YouTubers. We will see you guys later.